Peace, peace, greetings, family. My name is Brother Fojo Enobi. Yeah. Slave name, David McNeil. Some of y'all may know me out there. <laughs> and I'm here in this wonderful place. It's been a fantastic journey. I don't even have words to describe. Maybe you can pull it out. No, no, me, no, no. I got so much no, to say. No words? Okay, so um, I guess uh, going to uh, your background of how long you've been looking at the Africa for the African tours and uh, how long have you known of Omani stores? Yeah, um, I'd say I got uh, turned on to the African Africans maybe about three months ago. Uh -huh. uh, the reason was I have a desire to leave the States mm -hmm. and I was actually looking at Costa Rica first. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I was kind of thinking, I'm like, you know, do I want to brush up on my Spanish? Do I want to do this? Do I want to do that? And then ultimately I said, you know what? I want to look around and see me everywhere. Uh huh. And Spirit just kind of guided me to one video, to another video, to another video, and then I ran into Amani's videos. And, um, you know, with myself, I went through every single video, every single testimonial. Um, that seems to be the norm. <laughs> so everything was consistent. <laughs> And, um, and and I went forward with it. Uh -huh. um, you know, the process leading up to it, you know, was very professional. Um, right. As a matter of fact, when I reached out to the brother, he um, I reached out to him at three o'clock. He called me back at three forty. <laughs> that's real. Um, and everything was professional. Mm -hmm. We talked all the way through. We had conference calls and um, professional all the way through. Right. All the way through. So it was, it was about three months ago mm -hmm. when I came around to the videos, and I'm glad I made that choice. Right. Now, since being on a trip, would you say the trip uh, met or exceeded your expectations? <laughs> uh, and what, are, what are your thoughts about Ghana and Africa in general? Well, I really didn't have any expectations. Yeah. I, I, I really tried to be open. Uh huh. And I'm glad I did because I guess to answer your question, everything did exceed my expectations. <laughs> and, and going back to what I said at the beginning, I still don't have words to kind of describe what's going on here. It's, okay. it's, it's, um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's overwhelming in a very humbling and spiritual sense. What yeah, I, I think that's another way to put it because, you know, if you're coming, you know, whatever you may have in mind, if you haven't touched down on the lands, I'm pretty sure it will show you some things that you may not have thought you would have seen. Mm -hmm. And that's the beauty of it where I don't have words for. Right. For example, um, like this morning, uh, a large portion of us woke up at like five o'clock just to watch the sunset. Mm. And, 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 and I tell you, brother, um, I never thought that I would be waking up at 4.30 in the morning, 80 degrees, getting into the Atlantic Ocean and watching the sunrise for an hour. It's just been incredible, man. Wow. That's just one of the experiences that I didn't think I would you know, have, but but I did, and, and again, I don't have any words for that. It's, it's nothing like it. Right. It's nothing like it. Man. But right. um, all in all, um, you know, there were a lot of different experiences. You're going to see a lot of the culture. Uh, you're going to get a good feel for the for the people. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure you heard enough about the food. The food again, I don't have any words to describe <laughs> the food. The food is is is, is, is awesome. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate Bumai for what he did for this. Mm -hmm. uh, this is just, again, I was open-minded like he suggested that we do, as he suggested how we come into here without even having any preconceived notions. And I'm glad I just fell back and just let it all come to me, man. It's been beautiful. Like I said, I don't have any words to describe all of this. Right. What would you say to those that are um, thinking about coming on a trip or still contemplating or whether they want to go to Europe or to Asia? What would you say to them right now? To your sisters and brothers. <laughs> Listen, um, go ahead, go to Europe, go ahead, go to Germany. Those who want to reconnect, those who are real, those who have that inner calling, if you want to look around and see yourself everywhere, take this trip. Those of you who are looking, who are tired of Babylon, those of you who are tired of bad weather, uh, those of mm -hmm. you who uh, 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 are really looking for an opportunity to purchase land and to all my health people out there listen to me those of you who are interested in purchasing land this is where you want to be because you can purchase your own land and grow your own food one real quick thing the whole time we were here 
Everything came out of the garden. Mm. No cans. Say that one time. No bottles. No, no stores. Uh huh. <laughs> None of that. You feel me? Everything came out of a garden, out of a tree. We're we're, we're sitting up underneath a coconut tree. Right now. Right now. So. We all know how ridiculous the U.S. is, and Trader Holes and Trader Joe's. <laughs> uh, that's the, all that is nonsensical. It's, it's another illusion. If you really, really, really want to eat to live and be around your people, take the trip, and this will expose definitely the health side. But but if you want to be surrounded by your people, this is a good place to live. Good to go, man. Well, Anobi, we, we appreciate you having you on the trip, man. Yes, yes, your um, thoughts and your perspective have always been um, great, man, and, and we just love you having it, having you here. Yeah, they call me the professor here, man. That's what's up. All right, peace. Peace.